There is a war on our water, our food, and our flowers. With the global push towards highly processed, corporatized foods and the demonization of local farms, grass-fed beef, and localized systems, we desperately need to uplift our health and our happiness from the grassroots. A Japanese saying states, It is better to be a warrior in a garden than a gardener in a war. Embodying the warrior spirit and the innocence of a child, every individual can walk in the garden with purpose, seeking workable ways to co-create a more beautiful world. Planting victory gardens in the midst of a war on agriculture and on culture itself, we can rise like wildflowers. We are free to grow outside. Our health is in our hands. Food freedom and seed sovereignty offer answers to seemingly unsolvable problems. During this series, we will explore food as medicine and natural remedies free from Big Pharma. We will reveal advice for novice growers from green-thumbed gardeners, permaculture practices that nourish natural beauty, plus playful experiential learning activities and ways to accomplish the divine art of homesteading. Addressing the threats to liberty in related fields, gardeners, farmers, nutritionists, homeopaths, artists, educators, writers, homeschooling parents, and other food and flower enthusiasts will provide exciting solutions. Prose and poetry will illustrate the style of establishing food and flower companions and resisting the urge to pair antagonistic plants and people, requiring proper space to grow. Families of people and plants possess a pure power. The universal language of artful agriculture can create a much needed momentous unity if growers of all kinds lead by inspiration, not force. Let us unfold interconnected communities from the grassroots using on how agriculture can serve as the fertile soil for an organically forming society. I'm Sienna Mayheath, and this is Food is Freedom.